So in my hands, I've got two of the straightest hitting drivers of 2022, in my opinion. See lots of really good results for these drivers during fittings. I'm gonna hit both on a straight hitting test. But do stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm gonna go all out, swing as fast as I can to see if we can keep that accuracy and maybe have some extra yard and see what we can get out of these two clubs. Oh, just don't want that back, that is. Bulleted. Yeah, look at that curvature. One foot, I'm going flat out. So the two drivers I'm referring to are the Ping G425 Max and the Rogue from Callaway ST Max. For me, two extremely forgiving drivers. I've seen it so many times in fitting uh, sessions in the studio, putting these in golfers' hands, they do really tighten that dispersion, especially on those miss hits as well. So we're gonna talk a little bit about why that is, but more importantly, test these up against each other. I'm gonna a couple of different measurements on Trackman today with spin axis control and also curvature. So we can really see which one's creating more curvature maybe than the other and which is the straighter driver. So we're gonna kick things off with the ping, the G425 Max. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit three shots with this, three with the Callaway, another three with the ping, three more with the Callaway, and then finally two more sets of three shots going all out as fast as I can and see if we can get that distance with the accuracy, which is obviously important. So ping, G45 Max, nine degree. I've got the same shaft in both of these clubs. Oh, that's an absolute cracker to open up with, with the ping. That looks to be very straight, could even be a line ball to kick things off slightly up the right, super strike. Fantastic, carry there, 310. So we'll all look at distance. As I say, those last two uh, numbers, maybe focus a little bit more on that. So we've got spin axis. So spin axis is basically when the axis of the golf ball gets tilted. So a positive three point there, an ever so slight left to right shape for me, but really low number there. So it's not a lot. And you can see the curvature 13 feet through the air. Now don't get me wrong, straight hitting test is obviously a lot of it is to do with me and how I deliver it my face angles in relation to my path, my strike on the club face. So there's obviously an element of me in here as well. But I think, again, what I find through the fitting sessions is, you know, with this weight at the back in the max, in the ping, and also in the, in the rogue, it's very stable, even on those miss hits. So of course, there's always a player element to this, but I think these drivers definitely over the last few years have really focused hard on, on maybe stabilizing those uh, twists on the miss hits. I felt a little bit off the toe. Yeah, fraction off the toe. I'll tell you what, that's flying superb. That looks long. Wow, getting this out there today. That feels really good. So good spin, 288 carry. Again, look at that spin axis, 0.7 and only nine yards of curvature, nine feet of cur curvature, should I say. Very, very straight. Again, good strike, just a bit pulled. It's flying very straight, but just a bit pulled up that left-hand side. I guess probably gonna be fairway there, but again, spin axis. Little bit more on that particular shot. Again, that's, that's gonna be a little bit more of me, but I'm very controlled. I'm looking at it in the fairway, and that's probably gonna go up that left edge of the fairway there. So switching into the Callaway, the Rogue ST, again, the Max. So a similar process here, we're seeing that weighty cartridge at the back of the club, quite a long, head size from the front to the back, very similar to the to the ping there. And again, it's a biggish footprint as we look down. So again, nine degrees, set at nine degree. I've got the same shaft in this Aldila Rogue, same length of shaft as well. So very, very equal on its, uh, on this test. That wasn't a great strike. It didn't feel like, yeah, a little bit high in the face. It was quite central actually, but it felt, didn't feel solid, but flew again, really straight. Spin axis 0.5, that's amazing. 18 feet of pitcher. I think this is a big thing for a lot of amateurs, you know, is, is control of drivers. Always big talks of distances, ball speeds, hitting that ball longer and straighter and those sort of things. But the accuracy side of things is, is typically quite an issue for a lot of golfers with the driver. You know, it's easy to tilt the spin axis, depending on your technique, your strikes, everything like that. And this is one of the big reasons why there's a lot of adjustability in these drivers. In terms of the next sleeve, maybe movable weight. Now the Callaway doesn't have any movable weight in the head, the ping does, you can move that tungsten weight in the heel and toe. So potentially a little bit more adjustability in the ping, just to maybe suit certain strike patterns, club face controls. Again, again, that was a little bit low on the face. That's, 
I mean, it's straight down the, the fairway there, a little bit into that heel, get a little bit of that curvature, probably through that gear effect of that strike. And that's where I would really like to sort of look at drivers like this, you know, that heel strike there, we're always going to create some gear effect. That's going to, for a right-handed golfer, is always going to create that left to right shape. And you can see the curvature, 48 feet of curvature, but the ball started up, the touch up the left-hand side and then curves back, which is obviously what Roland Bulls does on the club face in terms of that forgiveness. But again, that weight in the back maybe just stabilises that. If you think we didn't have as much weight in the back, I would expect to see that curvature number increase a little bit more. Same again. Probably weren't as good as strikes there in relation to that ping. But look how straight that is. That's really good. Right, okay, so switching back into the ping. So I don't want to get in too much of a run of hitting the same club for too many shots. Three shots, switch back out. Let's try and get a little bit of a fairer test. Now that is a real test. That was a, probably the worst strike I've hit out of all those clubs there. And again, it's that low heel. It'll start at left. It has a little bit of that gear effect coming back it didn't feel great off the club face that felt like a real big miss for me but look at that curvature again you know it's one of those where you hit it and you think oh and the playing partner's going oh that's a good drive because it's pretty straight down the fair but you think to yourself do you know what? i nearly felt that like i missed that oh, just don't want that back that is bulleted wow moving that club quite quick today this feels really good swing feels great that curvature that's the golden number zero curvature that will work every day of the week. Imagine if you could just record that in your body there and just go replay, replay, every tee shot, replay. <laughs> Be great, wouldn't it? Unfortunately, golf's not like that. Okay, last one with a ping. Oh, it feels really good. Yeah, it looks very straight on its flight. Just a touch pulley, literally a hair. <laughs> Again, five foot of curvature. Absolutely amazing, very straight. And to be honest, the ping is definitely one of the best ones I see, giving this to golfers in fitting sessions of really controlling a, a strike, uh, sorry, a curvature. And then obviously with that extra ability of moving weight, really does have a big impact. Right, so final three shots with the Callaway before we move into the all out, let it rip test. Feels really good. I think the difference in terms of the sound with these two drivers, the Callaway is much better sounding club in my opinion, a little bit duller. The ping is quite loud in the sound of it, which does put a few golfers off. Fairway ball, again, very straight. A little bit of heel, a little bit of curvature there, just that slight heel strike. Again, this is these little subtle differences you're gonna get through differences of strike. Feels superb, sound is very good, and a very straight shot to finish up on. Okay, we're gonna look at those numbers in a little bit more detail in a minute, but just before we do that, I'm gonna hit another three with a ping, another three with a Callaway, but I'm gonna go all out as fast as I can. Can we keep that accuracy up? Right, okay, 425, let's ramp this up a little bit. This could either be flying over the end of the range here, or going up the road on the right. Felt pretty good in the contact. And that's pretty good. So 118 club head, 118 and a half club head speed, over 170 ball speed, not been there for a long time. Ooh, that wasn't, that's awful. And that is cutting a little bit up the right. Not horrendous. That eight to seven feet curvature, which are more of a low heel strike, so. Touch low maybe, yeah, a little bit heel, a little bit low. But again, it's relatively controlled in that shot shape. A bit more curvature than maybe we've seen before, but probably going to be hitting that fairway. Right, let's move into the Callaway. Three flat out swings with a Rogue ST. Right, okay, Rogue ST, let's see what you've got in your locker. Felt pretty good. Touch left. That looks to be. Oh, that looks long. <laughs> That looks really, wow, 119 club, 174 ball speed, over 300 yard carry. Again, look at that curvature, one foot, I'm going flat out. Wasn't a central strike, amazing. Oh, I felt a little bit high in the face. Yeah, a little bit high in the heel. Did up that left hand side, bit pulled there, a little bit of draw shaping on it. That felt really good, that strike felt good. Not quite as quick on the club head speed on that one, but the strike was excellent. Spin good, good carry, 
decent bit of control on curvature. Okay, so there's both drivers hit. Let's go and check which one has the least amount of curvature and is a straight hitting club out of those two drivers we've tested. Okay, so just want to start off maybe look at strike patterns. So strike patterns is important to take into this equation. So this is the heat patch of the six shots were hit with the Ping G425. So this isn't the, the, they're all out flat out swings. This was just the normal swings of, of I would put, produce. So the Callaway, six shots, you can see a bit tighter, maybe just slightly higher in that club face. Again, a little bit of a heel one in there, very similar to the Ping. Obviously going into the flat out swings, we only hit um, three, didn't we? So there's the Ping, a bit low in that heel, didn't we? Really tested that forgiveness. And the Callaway one, again, a little bit heel, but a little bit higher up in that club face. Right, so let's have a look at the all important dispersion. So you can see the centre line uh, we've got running here. So the white flashes are the six shots hit with the Ping G425, obviously in two batches of three. And then we look at the Orange in the Callaway, really interesting. Very tight on that dispersion there, isn't it? We'll look at the flat out swings with the ping. Okay, again, pretty good. One a little bit maybe sort of wild than the other, but they're gonna look at the Callaway. It's longer, isn't it? And potentially a little bit straight. Again, probably a little bit more of a left one there, but definitely a little bit longer on those particular hits. Normal swing start off with the G425 and the, and the Rogue at the bottom. And obviously we'll go look at speed and everything like that, but more importantly, we're looking at straighter, aren't we? Axis, spin axis and curvature, the last two columns. So we're gonna look at it as an average. So the ping is averaging eight feet, okay? And spin axis of 0 0.1, sounds amazing, but you can see there I've got a, a, a curvature of a 45 feet to the right and then a curvature of 26 feet to the left. When we look at it with a Callaway, I had a little bit more left to right curvature with the club, but a bit more consistency. See, 48 was my biggest number and then my smallest number was six and nothing to the left. So again, as the word consistency comes in there. So yes, maybe on average it looks a higher number, but you know, obviously a 20 yard to the right, 20 yard to the left would equal a zero, wouldn't it, as, as an average. So looking at those individual shots, probably the Callaway, as we could see in that dispersion rings, a little bit tighter. And then just moving into those flat out swings, bit of fun at the end, let's go for it. Let's see what happens. Obviously, typically gonna see a little bit less control. Um, I mean, the one to really take out of there was that one, wasn't it, with the Callaway? I mean, I absolutely buttoned that. Obviously, I've, I've aligned all my club face and path and everything, my strike and one yard of curvature. And, the, and when I'm going at it, 190, which is fast for me, is, is a bit of a one-off <laughs> in my eyes. Um, so again, what 38 to the right, 35 to the left. Maybe you've just seen a little bit more of a, a consistent curvature with the ping on this occasion going flat out. As I say, bit of fun there. Realistically, those bottom two columns is my swing where I'm at. Callaway is edging it. So there we go. For me, two of the probably straightest hitting drivers of 2022. Definitely seen those results during fittings, which is why I wanted to do this video. Appreciate a lot of it is to do with me and my delivery or you and your delivery when it comes to straightness. But I think these are very good go-to drivers if you wanted to try and hit more fairways. If you've enjoyed the video, do hit the like button. More importantly, hit subscribe if you haven't done so. If you have, appreciate your support. There'll be another video popping up there you can go and enjoy and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.